What's going on, everybody? Um, Jake back in again. So I just got out of a meditation, um, and multiple beings are just like coming to me, wanting wanting to uh, wanting to channel them. I think. So I'm just gonna try to get all this out, basically. So see so what happens. All right. Also, before I start, um, somebody mentioned and they, they said that they wanted me to use a microphone because I guess it's it's echoey in here. I'm not sure if it's have the door closed. I don't know if it makes a difference. So I have one of those blue, as you can tell, the blue microphones. Um, they're not really that good. So I hope it works. If not, um, I'm going to try to save up some money and get a good microphone. I know, I know some of them are expensive. This is like the cheapest one they had, so I um, just wanted to get that up there. So, I guess. Okay, the first one, I'm not too, I'm not really comfortable enough, I don't think, channeling him, so, I think I'm just going to kind of just channel him. So, um, in meditation, and right now, literally like 20 minutes ago, I was meditating, um, I was connecting to the Sasquatch beings and the fairies, um, if you guys don't know about them, I obviously go look them up. Um, not gonna get into big detail on that, but basically they've been around me a lot recently. Um, mainly the Sasquatch being. And I got, I got, I got to you know bring some light to this though. Um, I love those beings. They're they're really nice to to have around. Um, they feel really nice, you know. Um, and the elementals are very close to us. They're always here. So something to always connect to, you know, because they're always trying to connect to us. But um, anyway, so when I was doing that. I got a name in my head, and I've had it a couple times, only like three or four times, um, since I've opened up more of just my stuff, uh, like telepathic, whatever, you know, all that crap. So anyways, um, I got this name, and I'm like, that's really weird. So I got this name, and something told me to look it up, and then I looked it up, and I couldn't find anybody. Um, and then I finally found somebody, and then when I did find somebody, this thing was connecting to me, um, more for some reason why I'm gonna look them up. So I'm not uh, some dude named Ethan Allen that I guess was around in the 18th century. Um, so basically I looked up, you know, a little bit of like who he was, but his message. And again, I'm not really too comfortable. Um, it's really funny. I'm more I'm more comfortable with the the alien side of things versus like you know spirits like people who have died already. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's something that just, you know, I think, for me, it, it would take a little more time. And I've already done it with the John D. But I mean, I'm connected to him, so like, there's kind of a reason why. But anyways, this guy basically wanted me to look, at, look up um, who he was. And I didn't get a lot of information, but what I was getting from him was that um, we're in a time where, you know, there could be, and again, this is not trying to be fear or anything like that, but... You know, there could be a civil war soon, there could be a world war, like, who knows what's going on, things are crazy right now, um, very unpredictable, you know, but what I was getting was that this guy wanted me to look him up because whatever he was around for, like, could have an impact now, kind of like what he stood for. So what I was getting was, um, that this guy was someone who back in like the 18th century, it's like the 1700s, was a military leader. That's why I read online. Um, it said he was a philosopher, so maybe he's connected to spiritual stuff. I don't know. This is just a straight up open, you know, discussion right now. Um, but basically, so it said that he was a philosopher, a military leader, and that um, he he brought people to the importance of nature. And that's what he was getting at. And, um, 
Okay, okay, yeah, this is a better way to put it. Basically, what, what he was trying to give a message to me, which I don't feel, I don't even know if I can channel him. I just don't feel comfortable right now, so that's probably why, you know, I'm not really, I'm just avoiding it. Um, but I can feel him around it right now. So basically, he's saying the importance of it now is that right now we are at a point where stuff could, could happen and it can be very, like, negative and detrimental, um, to the earth, you know. And I don't, okay, I don't know why this is just popping in my head randomly, but I just, I just thought of the, the seed banks that they have going on right now because they're like storing seeds because of all the, um, pesticides and all the stuff that basically they're polluting the earth and it's hard to grow things nowadays, you know, compared to how things used to be anyways. Yeah, it's got the seed banks. I think it's, I, I think what it is is that the things that could happen could really impact the earth and it doesn't matter really the outcome of all these things if the earth gets severely damaged then that's going to impact us it doesn't matter what way with people if there's whatever going on it doesn't matter what happens if the earth gets screwed the earth gets screwed if there's you know bombs emp hydrogen whatever i'm just naming this off the top of my head you know this is just me right now um but basically what I was getting at was this guy was, was trying to say to me, like, look, you, you got to start bringing the importance of um, the earth. So, I mean, if you want to talk spiritually, you know, it's Gaia, you know, it's basically just the importance of Gaia and trying to preserve her because things could, like, get really bad. And like I said, you know, um, if something happens to the earth, you know, like, if we can't grow things or something severely happens, it's going to really impact everybody. Um even more probably than, you know, war stuff. Who knows? Um, so that's what I was getting from that. Um, it was really interesting. I was like, Ethan Allen. I'm like, who the hell is Ethan Allen? So I started thinking to myself, I'm like, do I know anybody named Ethan Allen? I'm like, no, you know? So I looked it up online, um, and I couldn't find anybody. I just found, like, hotels and stuff. And then I finally found somebody, um, and then when I saw him, I just had this feeling like that was him. So it was really interesting. It just said he was a, a military leader in the 1700s. He brought people together with the importance of nature. And he was, in, he was very big into philosophy. Um, and basically what I'm getting from like my third eye was he was just a spirit that was more in tune, more intuitive to a lot of things, um, than the people at that time. So I think that's, kind of why he did what he did. I think that's why I'm connecting to this guy. And again, this is really weird. This just happened 15 minutes ago. Um, I don't know where. I didn't even know if I was going to make a video. I was like, I don't know. I'm not really comfortable channeling just anything that's not really a smart idea, you know. So there's that. Um, I can try channeling the the, um, the theory and the Sasquatch things. I don't know. Um, because I got that uncomfortable on this channel, maybe not. So I may just cut it off here. I also plan on doing a beer review, probably, in a little bit too. So that's another thing, you know, you can't do this stuff and, and you know, have alcohol in you. It's really bad, really negative. Um, separate those two. But anyway, so let me, um, give me a minute and we'll see what happens.
Greetings, dear humans, we have met before. This is a Martian connection, I'm here for a short time. We do not mean to intrude, and we know that there are not very good impressions of us, so to speak. From past experiences, but that is understood. This message is to reach out and to inform, well many, many do know, but to inform that there are many things happening right now with Mars. And a lot of things will be coming in the near future. And because of this, we see that it may not have a positive impact on our Earth, but we are here to basically give a hand and just introduce ourselves politely to make a good impression for many Martian connections are coming in the future and we want things to go as smoothly as possible. That is all we have for now. But there is some information that we are questioning should be brought out in a greater light. But for right now, just a simple hello, and to know that many more Martian, well mainly Mars, Mars information within their news and within other scientific sources will be presented. And we see that it can go a better route, so that is why we're here. Yes, there are other beings, so we will say goodbye for now. Hello and welcome. This is the Sasquatch Collective. One moment while we balance out our energies. Ah yes, yeah, speaking with, with you wonderful people again. That is such a nice thing. Thank you for having the time to listen in as well, we are all around all the time. We are always around you. We are always in front of you. We are always spreading our light. Yes, we may not look like the fairies, but we are of the elemental energies. We are of much balance within nature. You can say we are the bodyguards of nature in, in a way, if you want to bring some light to that. That could be a, a, a hilarious, a funny way to look at it. We simply protect Mother Nature in multiple dimensions. And we also give you balance and help you connect to Mother Nature. Usually we are around when there is a much needed connection to be grounded in the Gaia energies. And when transitions are happening and the grounding that needs to happen to make sure your stable, your connections are stable and your energy is stable. Connecting with yourself and of Mother Nature.
one way that fits very fitting for me is we are like a nurse when there needs to be adjustments or tuning within the body or tuning within the energetic fields within our multidimensional selves. We are here to bring that. We understand there is great presence of our awareness on your world and many are not welcoming but I guess from your perspective <laughs> seeing us would be very shocking and your world is not like different different is 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 not there is not a very good thing unfortunately but there is always time to fix that and we send healing to that whenever we can Many of us do have different forms. We we all do not look how the it's kind of rude, but Bigfoot is mentioned. We are multidimensional. We do not always we we come in very variations depending on our situation, depending on our place at that time. Many of us are blue. Many of us many of us don't have hair. Many of us do look like the Bigfoot. Many of us do look more like a giant fairy. But the kinds that are around this earth, in this Gaia, in this, how would you call it? In this reality of her existence, yes, the, big, the Bigfoot impression is the strongest. Many of you do connect to many variations of us. And do not be frightened, we are all loving. Imagine that we are, we may look ginormous, but just know that our spirit and our energies that are with you are of that magnitude, and that is what we bring around. We are like giants. Giants in the human form are known to have the big hearts and caring. And we, and we like that portrayal. There are many dimensions that we are in, and it is such a blessing to be able to see throughout all the realities of Gaia. This is a much stable one. This is very positive. There are many dimensions and realities of Gaia, of you, of yourselves, of your forms where you are living almost identical lives, but it is much worse. There is not as much of a spiritual presence. There is not as much support. So we are there, and we are giving a helping hand in greater detail. So one note to leave you off with is be grateful and be thankful for your inner reality that is um, very positive compared to others. It could be much worse. Just know there is much that is not understood, and because of that, you cannot see these things. You only see the black and the white, even though there are many, many gray areas. We send our hearts and our energies to you, and we are around many of you at this time. And we are grateful for our duties. Blessings and much good luck to you. For you do not need it, but much good luck for there are some hard times to come, but everything is okay. Everything is okay in the light and in the love. Ground and connect to Gaia and you will be okay. Thank you.
okay. I can't really, um, that one's kind of just left out, but I'm tired. Um, I can't really channel, um, the, the fairy that I was trying to, so I can see if I can get a channel. Okay, she likes the name Serena, so I guess that's what we're going with. Um, what I'm seeing is, I'm seeing, they like to, okay, they like to connect the dots, basically. They, they lure us sometimes. It's not tricking, not at all. Um, I see it as just like a more positive way of like, okay, like pushing us to, um, to, to like connecting with nature and connecting to more positive energies. It's almost like if we were blindfolded and we can't see what's right in front of us and they're kind of shoving us in the right direction. Um, that's what I'm getting. And they're always here. Um, yes, uh, I'm being, I'm being told, yes, they have been, people, okay, people basically have claimed, you know, in the past to see them. And people think it, you know, they're crazy, and they're just saying, no, that's, that's happened, it's true. Um, but from my perspective, I mean, that really makes sense, you know, I mean, when there's people who all over history, you know, I mean, there's people like, like the light worker people like this, who, you know, we, we see and connect to things that not a lot of people can, you know, that's always been going on, so that makes sense, you know. Um, hmm. Getting the movie Fur and Gully in my head, that's really interesting. Because that's about fairies. So. That's funny. That's, that's kind of humorous. Um, is there anything else? They're saying that they're much easier to connect to um, than a lot of other beings. So if you're someone who you're having trouble connecting to them, like the beings basically, don't, like, don't give up, don't, you know, push yourself to the point where, like, oh, I'm not going to try this anymore. Basically, they're saying they're very easy to connect to. They're always here around us. Um, so if you want, or if you're new to this, you know, of course, there's always new people. If you want to start out, try um, connecting to the elementals first. Um, and I'm also getting go to, okay, go, and this makes sense. Yeah, they're, they're everywhere. Like, I've connected to them in, like, my, my room. But go to, you know, it makes sense. Just go to somewhere with trees. Go somewhere with forests. Um, get into a meditation somewhere like that. Somewhere where there is seclusion, you know. There's not too many people. So, I mean, yeah, a forest preserve would work. But try to go to one that, you know what I'm saying, like, no one goes to maybe. That's what I'm getting. They're saying, um, they're just giving me a place that's best to connect to them. But they're everywhere. They're awesome. Um, and from my own experience... One time I was in meditation and I asked to connect to them. And so, you know, I was, I was cross-legged, my eyes closed and I was, I was doing my thing. Um, and then I saw it was really, really crazy. What was that kid's movie? Oh, I think it was Peter Pan where there's a little Tinkerbell fairy. I mean, I didn't see anything like that. Don't get me, don't get me wrong. But you know how like in the movie from like far away or whatever, when you see the fairies like move, like you see light just really quickly move by. Um, I had my eyes closed and I was, you know, in my meditation, I was in a deep trance kind of. Um, and I, I saw that and then I just felt this really, this happiness. Um, and then, and then, and then I felt like, I don't know why I'm getting the color yellow right now. It's really random. This is really random today. So I apologize, guys. Um, but this is more of me. This isn't the being. So it's kind of scattered. Um, not as clear, basically. But I'm also kind of just channeling just what's coming in. I don't know where that's, that's what happens. But yeah, I'm getting basically they just, they connect you to, to nature when you need to. Um, they're, they're kind of pushing us in the right directions. And I'm summarizing right here. Kind of pushing us in the right directions. Um, they're saying they're very easy to connect to. Some of the easiest. Um, okay, that's another thing I'm getting to. I'm seeing them around the unicorns, too. Like, I'm getting a picture in my head of a unicorn. But, and it's really weird because it almost, I'm getting the picture of, um, 
What's that old the movie company where they have like the Pegasus, you know, like in the beginning before the movie starts? For like the movie studio. I'm i I'm, I'm seeing like a multi dimensional that. Like I'm seeing something like that, but then there's like green and pink and red and I'm I'm getting this right now. Like green and pink and red and blue and all the colors are just like going through them so you can see through them. But I'm getting all these like flashes of golden light all around them. And that's not that I mean some of it could be their energy, but I'm getting that it's like a lot of fairy stuff too. So I'm just getting that. Um so that's cool. And then um is there anything else? Is there anything else guys? Okay, I'm not getting anything else, but one thing that I could add on to it, um, and then I'll stop this because I know it's been a while. One thing I could add on is, they gave me an amazing, I think it was them, I just feel like it was their, their vibration, their connection. That's how I look at things. Like, I, I get, you know, I get, um, I don't know, I don't know, I'm sorry. Anyways, so, I had this vision one time, I'm pretty sure it was them, and, uh, it was really, really cool. It was beautiful, and that's the thing about it. It was very, very beautiful. Um, I know it sounds lame, I really don't care. It really touched my heart, though. It really did. I saw, and again, I was in meditation. I saw nature. I saw trees. I saw, and then it was almost like from a bird's eye view, like I was flying, and I was seeing mountains. Um, well, and that's the kind of thing right now. That's really weird. I saw the ocean with with what I'm gonna get into, so that's really cool. So I just saw the ocean with this. That's that's awesome. Um, thank you, whoever that is. It's probably still there. I don't know. Anyways, I was seeing the earth, and I was seeing all these things and people as well. But and I saw people last, and I think that was really like the the go home message about it. But when I saw all these things, I saw almost like white beautiful energy and if you're someone like me where you can sometimes see like the energy in the air it almost kind of looks like you know when you see the stars if you're dizzy but not exactly like they move around like this way and that way you know what i'm saying um i was seeing energy but it was like i saw the same energy through everything through nature through trees through leaves and I just saw it through water, this white energy all over the water. Um it's like you put you know, it's like you covered the, the ocean with all these little diamonds everywhere, you know, like just seeing sparkle you know. That basically what I was being shown was just the the energy and how we're all the same and it hit home because it showed humans too and I was seeing human beings like myself is with all of this white energy around us. And sometimes I'll see it in the store and it's really weird out to kind of shut myself off. Um, I'll get an image out of nowhere of everything white. And then I see like just big energy, white glowing from every single person all around. I'm like, holy shit, I gotta stop this. I'm just here to get some dinner, you know. Um, but anyways, so I was seeing that all around. I was show it was showing me how everyone's connected. Um, how everyone's created the same thing. We're all of this beautiful, loving energy. Um, that's basically a piece of God, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's, that's what I get from it. But it was really beautiful because it was like I was seeing inside everything. And I was seeing what connects. And it was always like flowing, like water. Just the energy, the white energy that was inside of everything. Just flowing all out. And it was beautiful, man. Like it was crazy. Um, so. That's that's one thing that they can show you. They show you things like that, so very nature-wise. Um, so I think I'm just gonna cut it off there. I think I'm gonna do a beer review. We'll see. So um, thank you guys for watching. And I know this was kind of scattered, so I apologize. But um, is what it is. So talk to you later. All right, peace.